Well, here's the next project I'm working on. <clears throat> I'm going to try and build a spaceship from scratch. I found this interesting looking bottle. It's um, either deodorant, I think, because it had a rolling ball on the back of it. But I'm looking at the shape of it, and to me, that screams spaceship. And I got some odds and ends that I want to use on it. Right now, what I'm trying to do is figure out how to mount a cockpit. So I'm cutting some styrene with a little bevel on the end. It's going to sit on the back of this ship like this. And then I put a slanted windshield on the front and the top. And I have some accessories to go on this thing. Let me show you what I got. Simple. <clears throat> Once it's painted, it'll look a lot better. I got these three bottle caps that I glued together. And that's going to be the engines on this thing with a little color that might work. Then I found this old uh, <clears throat> light from a bicycle light that I just love the shape of it. So I glued a cap here on the end. And I'm gonna put like a little antenna here, so it'll be like a, I guess you'd say a deflector. And that'll get mounted on the bottom of the ship. Because it has this natural groove here. So that'll look nice there, like that. Then I have some little winglets, some panels. And once it's painted, I think it's gonna look pretty good. So this is the beginning stages of the spaceship made from a I guess shampoo or deodorant bottle, I don't know, I dug it out of the trash. And we'll see how it comes out. Well, we got a little further on the ship. We mounted the uh, rear engines. And I'm beginning to work on the cockpit. Which I sunk in with a slit. And I had these two small runners that are actually really tiny I-beams and I was gonna slide the sides into the I-beams. It would have been nicer but it didn't line up on the sides so the I-beams are kind of exposed coming here. That's a little flaw in the ship but maybe I can cover it up with something. What I'm using is um, this stuff called UV resin, resin and which is pretty good because it forms plastic with the help of UV light, which I have a UV light machine here, which uh, hardens it really fast. That's what we got so far. Now I got to make a um, cover here across the front, and then some kind of um, top. It might have winglets on it. I haven't decided yet, but there she is so far. It's getting there. It's just there's something about the shape of this bottle that just screams the ship. Even this flat part of the side looks like it's ripe for some kind of decoration or striping or something. Well, we'll see as we get further. <coughs> Sorry, as you can see, we're moving along. We did the cockpit. Okay, and then I included these little winglets. Give it that flight appearance. And what I did is I made the roof of the cockpit and the pieces I cut out became became the winglets okay. now this is going to go up here like that it's a kind of sinister flare and there's going to be um, probably something on the end of the wings that's just some kind of defense system right now the um, bottom part, we mounted um, like a little antenna array inside, and that's going to sit underneath, like um, like that. All right, it's getting there. Yeah, it's getting there. We'll keep you posted. Well, the continuation goes. What we did is we found some little parts here and there. 
This is, these are the um, fuel pods off a Skyhawk helicopter. No matter of those. These are the, uh, I guess, bombs or fuel tanks, whatever, from a Spitfire. The center thing is uh, something from an old printer. We added little parts to the inside of the engine nacelles. Just some little greebles here and there. And we added this little pot of bombs here. And I was still going to put some uh, flat panels here and here on the side. And what the roof is, we found another set of these guns. So we mounted them. And they're going to sit like that. A little hood scoop off uh, Ford Fairlane. What I'm going to do is going to take this stuff here and cut this to match this shape and put that here on the hood. Then I'm going to put something in this indentation here. And just find little places to stick little odds and ends like uh, a hatch. I don't know what that is, a little vent. I had two of them, so I used them. These caps are from a IV bottle. One of these little pins. Some gauging. I don't even know where that came from, but it's getting there. There's a pull back look at it. Now once we get this stuff cut and put on, then we're going to spray the whole thing. And uh, then we're going to pick our colors. I don't know if I'm going to paint it a dark color or a pearl white. I haven't decided yet. But that's where it is so far. There it is from the back. Okay, we'll keep you advised. Let's see, I got a dent there. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Unless I make it some kind of damage, but I've been cutting out parts, as you can see, to spruce up the sides and on the hood and on the roof line. Just little bits of styrene, I had to get that real soft stuff so I can bend it easy. I'm going to mount some more on the bottom. Maybe some, you know, flat pieces here. Somewhere in front of this. I have an area here to decorate, or not. Because I might need that just to, for a mounting bracket of some kind. So I've got to make a stand for it as well. But um, that's where we are. I so said once I get this painted, I have to put a black black thing in here so then I can put that in once it's painted cover it up and it should start to look even better don't forget this is a, a deodorant bottle <laughs> that's a deodorant bottle yep that's it so as you can do a deodorant bottle and some greeblies and some imagination Well, what we see here is the ship getting closer and closer to completion. I've added everything I wanted to add as far as um, Greeblies and special things. But I want to point out that this whole body is actually a Pantene hair conditioner bottle. <laughs> yes, if you had the inclination to build stuff like this, I mean, you can go to the dollar store, look around at the bottles of shampoo and conditioner. You might see an interesting bottle, so of course you a dollar. You get home, you pour out the contents, you wash it out, and then you have a platform to start building on. Uh, we still have to do the top here. Now uh, here I have a glob of paint. So I'm going to do is mess it up, streak it, and make it look like a blast hit. And then maybe I'll do a blast hit somewhere on the body. 
I also have to put a little window in here, just blacked out. Once that's done, I can either attach this flush like that, or give it a little thing like that. I'm not sure which one I want to do yet. I mean, that, that kind of looks cool. And that looks a lot cleaner. So I gotta decide. Now as far as the engines go, and I got some fluorescent glow paint to paint in the engines. Uh, some of the weapons will be black, red tipped. I got some chrome paint for some of the parts in between. Some panel paint for painting panels. They're not exactly flush to the body, so I don't know if panel paint's going to work there, but for some of this stuff, yeah. And there's maybe some brass and gold colors, too. But that's our next step right now, is to start painting the little details. Then we'll spray the entire ship with a uh, either a gloss or a matte finish clear coat. I haven't decided which one yet. And then it's done. Then I can put it in the display case with the other sci-fi stuff. Well, that's where we are now. Once we get this thing painted, we'll take another look at it. And folks, it's done. The Pantene ship is done. Let me get some better light here. We did a little painting. There's some damage here. The interesting thing about the damage is when a black light hits it, it glows red. Same with the engines. Touched up some stuff on the top. Some armaments. Cockpit window. Some more armaments on the bottom. Fancy doodad, whatever that is. There's a hatch. Well, there it is. Out of a Pantene conditioner bottle. Something George Lucas could have used in Star Wars. Now, let's, uh, let's see if I can make the black light work on it. I have a black light flashlight here. Ready? Check this out. That's with the black light and that little bit of damage on top. See how that lights up? And we have that, that spot here on the nose. A little bit of fighter damage there. Even with an overhead light on, it still shows up. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gave you some ideas on building your own. I had fun building it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know.